And so we moved to Kilkenny. Yeah. Now, those were grand years there in Dartford House. Sounds a bit like Chevney by all accounts. Yes, I suppose it was. I do miss it, you know. We were there for four years. We were, we were there and I made my Irish crossing. The plan was to land on the lawns in front of the house. <laughs> Well, that would have been an entrance worthy of Bob Lorraine. What, as the actor or the pipe? <laughs> well, both. But I was thinking more of his reputation on the stage. Yes. <laughs> How is he? <clears throat> well, very well, considering he, he never signed up to be an observer. Yes, I thought that was very strange. He's got such a reputation as a pilot, hasn't he? Yes, you know. He, he tried to make the, the crossing two years before me. But didn't quite make it. Gave a stand to driver. So why isn't he flying? But he arrived in August and was sent to farm a training centre with Colonel Trenchard. He arrived with his big reputation as an air pioneer. So what went wrong? He crashed two planes in his first two flights. <laughs> <laughs> not the best of starts. No, not really. And it wouldn't have been so bad if they had a good gang of mechanics, but they were very thin on the ground. Plus, there were only eight machines at a farm, row which Bob had just reduced by a quarter. So Trenchard wasn't best pleased then? No, I can't say he was. Who do you blame him? What you must remember is that all the aircrafts were coming from France at the time, from Blériots. They were working day and night to supply the French army. There just weren't enough machines to go round. So what was Bob's reaction? Well, I suppose you could say he was heartbroken. But he was so keen and eager to do his part, they took him on as an observer. And here he is with me. Oh, well, I dare say... My it. was up from all my chest pie. My was up from all my chest pie. And she... Evans! Cindy, what? <laughs> Say, sir, they didn't know you were here? No, evidently. I think you should get yourself a black coffee, don't you? Uh, that's a very, very good idea, sir. Yes, we'll think about it. <clears throat> Where's the kitchen? <laughs> yes, well, I think it's very good of Trenchard to keep Bob on in the circumstances. Yes, yes, I suppose so. Thank you, partner, sir! <laughs> What, Evans? <laughs> I was just wondering, you're talking about Colonel and the Trenchard. Yes, what's about it? Well, did anything ever happen of your idea to bomb Berlin? Bomb Berlin? Ah, yes, it was an idea. I see. Yes, I heard back from Colonel Trenchard. He thought it workable, but the powers of B said no. Not until the spring. That's good. No, that is not good, Evans. Why wait until the spring when the winter have gone to the east and we'll have to fly against them? No, that's not bloody good. No, that's no, not good, sir. That's what I thought. Oh, well, eh? another time. Yes, but there may not be another time, Evans. <laughs> no. But we did have one spot of good news. What's that, sir? The Marines, they'll be arriving soon. Oh, <laughs> that is good news. What happened to the Blairios? No, they'll be kept on for training purposes, I shouldn't have. So you'll still have a job keeping them up to spec, mm. if you keep your job, that is.